Hello everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I believe this is episode 6. Might be 7, but I think it's 6. But, last time, I said our goal was going to be that we were going to head over here and do uh, the Druid quest. But, before we do that... If not over... I think it is time that we actually do a uh, actual long rest and chat with the party and all that sort of stuff because we've been kind of keeping kind of been putting that off and I feel like it's something we probably shouldn't be putting off because you know every time I accidentally talked to them last week they decided to go into this whole spiel so probably better if we just go back to camp and chat with everybody, do a long rest, and then we will go and investigate the druid. And Shadowheart's the closest, so we'll start with her. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one, too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Mm, no, that, that feels like that would be a bad idea. Hmm. Well, we definitely shouldn't trust no him. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Yeah, let's see what she thinks. I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Yeah, Good. we can't. We can't trust That's him. what I wanted to hear. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Let's see what you have to say here. What's the story with that odd little artifact here? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Still not willing to tell us, okay. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? <laughs> I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Oh, 
Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Yeah, I go with option two here. We don't know her very well yet. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. I'm not too hopeful that a Gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Yeah, we should get to know it. No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? If not comfortable, I won't press Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Okay. We've spoken our peace with Shadow. Uh, hello, Asterian. I'm quick saving before I talk to Asterian in the event that when this conversation over is over, he leaves the party or something. Uh, now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. And this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Yeah, we're not his playthings. We'll Maybe. show him that. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. What do you need now? Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings. I might have actually forgotten she us. was here. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. No. The Yankee Knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my Queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Why were they chasing the... The Geich yeah. are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the Hells, this is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. Chuk. 
Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yeah, not a big fan of her so far. Well met. There. My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Pretty sure he wouldn't have felt proud. He would have probably been angry that he couldn't have saved the mother. Yeah, whatever became of the boy, I, I wonder. left him with his uncles. Five years on, and he's flourishing. If only every child was so lucky. I'd mourn the ones I could never save. Whose cries I never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil Zariel's own, Chaos Incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing.
a powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. <laughs> I'm sworn to say no more. All right. What else is on your mind? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. By all means. Right, anything else to talk to him about? Yeah. Alright, Gail, your turn. What's on your mind? Alright, do I actually have an item here I'm I'd be happy to give him? And now we get to go around and talk to everybody again. Oh, no, this is this is Withers. Hey, Not Withers. This one. Nor this one. And this one, a less worthy still. Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Very well. I don't need a hireling. Thank you, those others. But aren't you also my shop? Fate spins along. There we go. As okay. it should. Have you need of my services? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Okay, so he isn't the shot. Never mind. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. Indeed. Farewell. Oh, my 
always pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Right, she doesn't have anything she wants to say right now. What do you need now? I think I've already talked to everybody, so nobody's going to have anything to say, but I'm going to do it anyway. Well met. I think we talked to everybody, so nobody's gonna have anything to say. Go ahead. I'm listening. Not all of them. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can use the salami as a weapon. Good to know. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. Oh, so you're a vampire, Asterian. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I can't believe I didn't see it. You found it's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now, too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better, please. A strange sensation courses through you and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Well, I mean, there's good reason why he didn't tell us, but we're going to ask uh, him. At anybody. best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Yeah, I'm gonna press him some. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. 
and everything can go back to normal. Yeah, we'll, we'll be a little threatening. Ah, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. have a steak handy, do I? Right, we'll let him Peeling continue. into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Alright, that's enough. Oh, 15. We might be about to die. Roll again. <laughs> there we go. Uh, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. But I didn't. And that's what matters. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. It won't happen again. You have my word. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. <gasps> oh yeah, there's the dog here. Or there is a dog here now. We will talk to the doll. We pet the dog. Gale and Will like dogs. Good to know. That means they're they're good people. All right. I see somebody else had a marker over their head when they were walking away. Oh, it was Asterion who had the marker. Good morning. How do you feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no, I should be cinders in this light. 
I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities. I can't now. determine if he's joking or not. Quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. Word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. We need him. He's like not it wrong. or not. We're bound together, no matter what comes. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Right, do another circuit, make sure nobody has anything else to say about Asterion the Vampire. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Okay, she doesn't have anything to add. I expect I am your first. Okay, apparently I just said something. I don't know what I said. Uh, do we have a log here? Yeah. Okay. I clicked continue, and this just this took this. Okay. I'm gonna go with I'd never heard of your kind. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going with the joke. It was an observation. Not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to have anything to say about Asterion being a vampire, but well we're still going to check. What's on your mind? Oh, he does have something to say. We all have our burdens. One way or the other. That is a very pragmatic uh, direction to take there, Gale. I approve. Alright. Deep camp. That only took a half hour. I was afraid we were going to be in there working on that for an hour or two. And how long does this last? Alright, it might be a mistake to go in while I'm bloodless, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But we are going to. Actually, we're gonna quick save here. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna talk to the ogres. Or trolls, or whatever these things are. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. 
Tastes like fish. Hobbit joke. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. I love how the first roll bloodless screws us. quite the articulate over. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I've no use for the absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold, we check brand, good deal. No talk. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. The Diary of Lump the Enlightened. I would like to buy your diary, Lump. And I will balance the scales with gold. So much as a nibble. Food? No, not food. I don't think I want to recruit the ogre. Missing children. 
Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. All right. Now I'm wondering, should I continue over after this? No. We're going to go investigate Carla. I feel like I should do any party member quests that pop up before I do any uh, story stuff. In the event, you know, story stuff might lock me out of doing party quests. Also, I guess we can see if that, uh, whatever's going on in here with the, with the bear... Where did the other two go? Uh, Gale? Sound, I'm sure. Step by step. I'm not even quite sure how you guys got up there. Played at the ready. Or why you got up there. But you're down here now. You hear another muffled cry. The two inside are still in the throes of passion. Well. I neither want to know what's going in there or see what's going on in there. All right, we will do a save here. Okay. What's up, Gail? Ah, glad you've a moment for me. My, um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. We've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. Okay, what do we have here that's not used? You can have the locket. Thank you. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Thank you. 
grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. <laughs> Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. That condition of yours is a very it's expensive one. It's painted in water deep. Nothing there comes cheap. All right, we will do another quick save. There's a lot of bodies over here. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. East reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Knolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Uh, yeah. Whoa, I get to roll a lot of dice on this. Roll. I don't even know that one before. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too. Stillborn. Two steps at a time. And now we've got Knowles. Let's get this over with. Good hit. Thank 
human. I kind of walked Will right into that, didn't I? Okay, he didn't take too many, didn't take too much damage there. You can take me on. <laughs> My faith will protect me. Let me strike true. <laughs> on the victor's path. One hit point. Place is overrun with gnolls. Vile beasts. Nothing good is born from a corpse. I reckon they've infested the entire coast. Is there a chest? Then deliver the chest to me unopened. He'll know if it's been opened. These boots have seen everything. Taking. Best foot forward. And these things have stayed interesting. <laughs> More knolls up here. Okay. Oh, that one's dead. Path. Eldritch. Blast. Don't 
two steps at a time. No choice but to keep going. Hope your soul is in good hands. <laughs> Doing a lot of missing, Shadow Heart. Just wrecked Gale there. Got to press on. Finding my way. Ooh, so much for peace. <laughs> Don't waste a step. Feel my mistress's wrath. <laughs> Tail for the ages. Slow down. Hells, my time's running out. The multi attack from those guys is. Devastating. Another step forward. Might be a bad decision, but we're going to take a short rest here. That hit the spot. In fact, we're going to take both of our short rests. Okay. All right. Another quick save. And now we press on down the road.
killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Scorns were careful for Leap. work. Light on my feet. Okay. Another quick save. supplies with fewer mouths to feed now the Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area we squared off against her we lost talk to Anders if you want the details I don't have it in me to recount the horror two both stalwarts of tear sworn to uphold justice Those are expensive. I'm put both of them over here, and I'm going to start selling stuff. I don't actually know if the rope will ever be useful, but I'm keeping it. And I have read all of these. Pretty sure I have. Yeah, I like to keep all my books. Send that to Shadow Heart. Keep those. those. Oh, I'm now into. 
giving her stuff. So, anything else here she has that I could use? Those are expensive. Everything she has is expensive. name swift as my feet can carry me cut it out it's worse than nose out there nothing we need to worry about how about a dragon would that worry you i'd give it a bloody good fight that's for sure huh. only thing you give a dragon is bad gas at ease friend you're welcome to rest here. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil, the most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the Fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. May the just God guide you. Where did the other one go? We are going to quick save right here. Then we're going to head down the hill after Carlock. If we die, then that will be the end of the episode. We all failed the survival checks. We're all about to die.
one horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Hmm. Will? I like Will. And I, I feel like the game should allow us here to ask about, you know, all the bodies back that way. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. You saw her thoughts. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Everybody Look approves. Into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Ah, oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce, then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak, but you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know <laughs> I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out, I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Don't 
Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I don't trust her. But I don't know anything about Paladins of Tear. There was a religion check we failed. Or at least the I failed. <laughs> Dirty work's the only kind I like. Gets even messier the more bodies you throw at it. Think of the potential. Fine. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. What's that supposed to mean? The truth will out before you know it. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. His patron is going to be upset, okay? Well, I think that is where we will call it for this week, guys. Next week, I guess we'll find out whether these Paladins of Tear are actually Paladins of Tear or not. So, until then, I want to thank y'all for joining me. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next time. And have a good day.